Hey, thank, welcome back. Remember earlier in some of the shows I said I was working on a new fan cover to uh, cover the actual fans. This is actually a spare fan that I ordered from Bitmain on purpose just so I had one on hand. Not too bad, $15 for it plus shipping. Anyway, this is the vent that I created to try and take care of the extra vent problem on the D3s and the L3 Pluses and the S9s. Um, I think it'll actually work pretty good because the, the fan should act as a vacuum from the top part and push it right out into one of my exhaust ports, which I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, you got the, uh, uh, as you can see, <laughs> We've grown a little bit, and we're growing again in about another two to three days. We get another four miners. Um, but anyway, we've uh, modified our room, made better vented vents in the back, and now I'm working on these. This is the prototype one, the first one off the line. Uh, so I can test it. I'm going to actually test it on my uh, D3 here. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, shut it down real quick. Boom, we're down now. Then I'll disconnect the hose in the back so I can spin this around. That easy. Spin it around. You can see I got the old school bent on there. So you have all these holes here putting out excess uh, exhaust. So it heats up the room even more. So Hold on a second while I swap it out. We'll go ahead and turn it on and see how well it does for us here. Uh, try to get you guys a good view here. Here you go. This should be a good view. You've got to take out the old screws to replace it. I had to buy some longer screws for this because it's a bigger cover. So you can't use just the ant miner screws. I uh, matched them up, went down and bought some two inch long ones, uh, which should be fairly decent. If this vent works okay, I'm gonna build one for every one of my machines. And then I'll probably start putting them up for sale for you guys too, if you wanna buy them. Just leave me some comments if you do and how many you want. And uh, we'll work something out. Um, I don't plan on making much off of them, just pretty much enough to pay for them, and, uh, and, uh, cover the cost of, uh, printing them. Maybe, uh, maybe a couple of bucks extra for the research on them, but it shouldn't be too bad. So anyway, put this together real quick. prototype so we're testing to see if it'll fit right. If not, I'll make some more adjustments to it. Then you go to a two inch screw, so a quarter inch longer, and then they're just too long, so I might have to put some washers on this particular thing. But other than that, it seems like it's got some pretty good promise, what I can see so far. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it like that. Let me uh, show you. As you can see, all the vents covered now. So, get a couple of washers on there. It'll suck it down nice and tight. And it should stop the air loss. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, see what I get after I uh, hook this back up to the hose. done there. Alright, you can see it's back there, it's on there. Let me uh, turn it on. The machine's now on. And, uh, wow! There it is. No air coming out of the sides of this whatsoever. Even with it loose on there. It's like it's sucking all the hot air straight through this unit. Wait for this fan to kick up. Anyway, in the description of this video, I'm going to also include the um, all the amp readings for all your machines. So that way, because a lot of people are co uh, really confused. They're really confused as to how much they actually need for all the amps on these machines to be working right. And you really don't need much. You just need to, uh, or, uh you'll, you'll figure that out once you read what I uh, put in the comments. I've got it broke down by 110 volt or 220 for the L3s, the V3s, the S9s. Alright, now we're going up to full vacuum. There's a little bit of uh, air loss, but nothing compared to this guy over here. And, like I said, I get a couple of washers, suck that sucker down, and it looks like it'll take care of all of my uh, heat needs in this room. All my overheating issues that I've been having. That's a good thing. That's uh, exactly what I was looking to do with this. Anyway, go ahead. Give me a, give me some uh, feedback on this. You can tell me what you think. Thumbs up, maybe. All right. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you later.